Unit 4, Lesson 5, this is example number 4. So again, this will be the two-column proof video, and then I'll do another video for the flow proof. So again, anytime you're asked to do a proof, they give you triangles, chances are you're going to have to do some kind of triangle congruence. So let's put our methods down on the side, 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 angle, side, angle, side, angle, 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 side, and hypotenuse leg. Immediately looking at this diagram and the given, I'm not given any perpendicular information. These triangles do not look like right triangles, so I'm going to cross out hypotenuse leg right off the bat. Also notice that what they ask us to prove is that L is the midpoint of KN, so chances are this is a CPCTC proof. Again, to use CPCTC, we have to prove the triangles are congruent, and then use that to prove some other kind of relationship. So I'm going to get my two columns set up. So we have our given information, KN bisects, or cuts in half, JM. We have angle K is congruent to angle N. Again, they give that to us. So based on that given information, we have an angle. And we're going to be able to get another information about the side. So we have an angle and a side. This will produce a side for us. So side, side, side is out. Um, we don't know anything about the other side. So side, angle, side is out. So we're choosing, we're looking for another angle, basically. Um, one thing I do want to point out is that L is the midpoint of KN, which means in order to show that, we will need to show that KL is congruent to LN to show that. And again, we're going to use CPCTC. So we're looking for another angle. Again, my proof starts with my given. 2, JL is congruent to LM. Definition of a bisector. Segment bisector. So now I have a side. And again, we're looking for another angle. And our most popular angle here are these vertical angles, 1 and 2. And so we have angle, angle, side. So that will be our method. Again, if I know things I'm going to be using in the proof later on, I can set up the bottom of my proof without filling in the top of it just yet. So if I want to prove that L is a midpoint, is the midpoint of, what do they give us, KN, I'm going to need to show that KL is congruent to LN, and I know that's going to be from CPCTC. So I know I'm going to have to prove triangle JKL congruent to triangle. And again, I need to list my angles in order of correspondence, MNL. And now I have a method that's going to be by angle, angle, side. So looking at my statements and reasons above, I have a statement about an angle. I have a statement about a side. I need another statement about an angle. So I'm going to say that angle 1 is congruent to angle 2. Those are vertical angles, are congruent. And so now I have another angle. And again, I have angle, angle, side. And I have enough information to prove the two triangles congruent, so four. I can now talk about KL and LN being the same because they are corresponding parts of triangles that I've already shown are congruent. Okay, and I can say that L is the midpoint of KN because that's the definition of a midpoint. It divides a segment into two congruent parts. Definition of a midpoint. And that's all I need to do for this proof. So again, you can fill in the bottom if you know where you're trying to go before you fill in the middle statements. Um, but just make sure that the method you pick is accurate. You're certain that you're going to need CPCTC. Okay. And then ultimately make sure that you number at the end.